Hey everyone, Professor Hank here. So today we're going to talk about object conversion in C++. So when you talk about object conversion, all you're talking about is a type of data conversion. And you probably already know what data conversion is. When you assign a double to an integer and that floating point number gets converted into an integer, that's a form of data conversion. Well, when we talk about object conversion, we're talking about doing something similar. So if you declare a class foo, and then you instantiate an instance of that class, call it say foo f, and then you assign f to a double. Well, what does that mean? Well, what that's going to mean whatever you need it to mean, and this is going to be a form of object conversion. So we're going to add a function to our class that is going to contain the logic for converting a foo to a double, or a foo to an int, or a foo to whatever you need to convert a foo to. So that is object conversion. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example. So I'll write a class here and we'll call it foo. And this will be a class that simply has a array in it. So we'll have a private array, which will have 10 elements. And in our public interface, I'll simply include a default constructor. And that constructor is going to just initialize the array with all twos. Okay, so we'll do something like this and we'll say i equals two. So that's just going to populate array with twos. That's it. So now we'll add our operator conversion functions, our operator conversion functions. So let's say that I want to assign, I want to do something like this in main. Let's say that I want to say int x and then I want to create a foo object and then I want to assign f to x, right? So I want to convert a foo object into an integer. Well, that's what I'm going to do right now. So when you create these conversion functions, we're going to use that same usual keyword operator, but we're not going to need a return type for this because you're converting to an integer. Okay. So there's no reason to have a return type here. And then you're going to specify what type of data you're converting to. So I'm going to convert to an int. And since this is, it's not a binary operator or anything like that, you're not going to be passing any argument to this function. So the primer list will always be empty. So no return type. And we have an empty parameter list. So now in the body of the function, you just include whatever logic you need. Logic to convert your object. In this case, our object is an instance of class foo. Convert foo to an int. So whatever that means, whatever you need it to mean. So for this example, I'll just have my conversion function add up all the integers in the array and then return that. Why not? So we'll do something like this. We'll just say for auto I a, and then we'll do total plus equals I, and then I'll just return the total, right? So my array here has got 10 elements all initialized with twos. And so when I assign a foo object to an integer variable, it's just going to total up all the elements of the array and then return that. So let's see that in action. So I'll do a C out once this is finished. And so let's go ahead and see the output of that. All right. So you can see there's the 20. So I can define whatever I need. So let's say that I created a double, right? And I wanted to convert a foo into a double. I, well, I could do something like this, d equals f. And then I just go up into my class and do the same thing, except for this time I'm gonna do a double. So here I'll just have the function return 8.8. .8. You use whatever logic you need for the problem that you're trying to solve. So then if I was to display the contents of d, then we're gonna see the 8.8 .8 because to convert a foo into a double means that the foo becomes 8.8 .8 .8 because I simply wrote the function that way. And you can continue doing this for all the different data types that you need. So, you know, maybe I want to do a float this time, you know, and I'll declare the function in the conventional way. I'll have my function prototype and then I'll do a function declaration down here. So this is going to belong to a foo and we're going to do a float. And so maybe this time, I will divide the array by three. 
you know, so I'll do something like this. I'll do uh, float total equals zero, and then I'll add up everything in the array, and then I will return the total divided by three, something like that. So this is what I've decided that um, converting a foo into a float means. You know, it's 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 a third of the of the total of all of the elements in the array. So then I'll create a variable float and we'll call this um, ff I guess and I'll assign it my my foo object and then I'll see out the ff so I mean that is it that is that is literally it that's all you need to do when you're doing these object conversion functions so you know you just keep adding member functions for every single data type that you need to be able to convert your object into that's it okay so now you know how to perform object conversion for your classes in C++. Thanks for watching.